Hello everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Yes, you join me in the menu. This doesn't happen very often. I usually start it in-game, but it's actually the middle of the night. If I come out of the menu, it's pitch black. Uh, yes, uh, we are here. We're in The Long Dark. We are still in Trapper's Cabin. We still have Cabin Fever. We have a risk of Cabin Fever. I don't actually know what happens to your condition if you get Cabin Fever. Uh, it's the first time I've ever got it. I'd never been bothered by it before, and I thought it kicked in after several days spent inside, but I've basically spent a day, or maybe a couple of days, inside trying to recover from our epic video a couple of uh, couple of videos ago, and uh, craft the wolfskin coat, and I've ended up with a 32% risk of cabin fever, but never mind, we're going to head outside. Uh, and sort that out. Our conditions back up to 100%. Our food is not great at the minute. We don't have very much. We've basically got what we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the salty crackers and drink. Um, I'm then going to drop all of the stuff I'm carrying for my wolf skin coat. I'm going to leave it here um, in one of the containers simply because I don't want to lug it around and end up getting into problems um, because I'm carrying a lot of weight or anything like that. I'm going to use a match just to find my... Uh, find my drawer in the workbench which I'm hoping will be big enough to accommodate everything so if we get rid of the gut the two hides and the actual part made wolf skin coat that will sort us out now my only slight concern is that my muck looks are in a very bad condition uh, one percent um, so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of my muck looks there's actually a pair again Oops. of down here work boots. I know they're not in great condition either but they're in better condition than my mock looks so I'm going to put them on. So they're not massively brilliant but they're better than nothing. Am I actually wearing those? No. Let's pop those on. Okay so I've got myself a pair of mock looks. I am at least slightly better off than I was uh, with the mock looks. Sorry I've got a pair of um, work boots. I'm just uh, looking through. Condition of clothing is not great because we were beaten up by every single wolf in the entire map on the way over here. Uh, let, oops, let's get ourselves another match lit if we can just so I can find the one of the two storm lanterns mm, this'll come in handy. and some fuel and then the door hopefully. It is the middle of the night. Um, I don't normally go out at night, as you're fully aware. I normally stay indoors, but I want to lessen that cabin fever possibility. And see if we can find anything useful whilst we are out and about. Let's just light our lantern. That'll just give us a little bit of light. It's not the clearest of nights. I'm not going to go too far. I'm literally going to head over to the barn just over here as far as I'm uh, going to go. See what's what over in the barn. I don't think there's very much in here. I think the deer that you tend to find in here I've long since harvested. And I think I've also completely disposed of everything that was in here. I thought I might have left something behind, but nope, apparently not. Um, okay, let's head back out here then. Again, I'm trying to see if there's anything useful around. Which there really isn't around this area of this map. We've pretty much harvested everything that's useful already. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to travel a little bit further afield to find something useful. I'm just worried about the cabin fever. I mean, it's come down quite quickly. I mean, it was at 30, what, 35 percent. It's come down to 28. So it's it's come down quite quickly once we came out here, and we actually made an effort to go some distance okay I'm going to drop back inside then 
Uh, I'm going to put the light out and I'm going to see if we can just pass some time for a couple of hours. Basically, I want to try and get ourselves through to morning so that it's light and we can actually see what we're doing. Or at least coming light. So find the door. Blundering about in the door, in the dark, trying to find the door. There we go. Okay, let's head back outside now. Hopefully if it's a little bit brighter out here now. Oh, no, it's decidedly not. So this is why I'm not going anywhere. It's because it's, it's all weathery and horrible out here. We have plenty of things to do indoors. Plenty of things that we need to do. Okay, let's just see if we can uh, pass time again. Just for a little bit longer, just to see if we can just get ourselves through some proper daylight so I can actually see what we're doing. There we go, that's better. Let's hide that. Let's stick our head back outside again, see what things look like. If it's improved, we'll go on a little trek. Mm, it's a little bit better. At least I can see what I'm doing now. Okay, let's go on a little bit of a trek then. Again, I don't really want to go too far. But we uh, we need to try and sort out this cabin of cabin fever affliction or cabin affliction fever. So let's uh, we'll do a little bit of trekking and just see what we can come up with. I could do with laying a couple more brand new snares over there. We've got the gut to make them. We just need to get some uh, some reclaimed wood. One of the problems, of course, is I used it all. Gather some sticks. It's food items that I'm really interested in. So I'm looking for things like reishi mushrooms. Or anything like that that might be useful. See, this is the problem. Over the... The maps that we've been across, we have pretty much cleared out all of the kind of man-made food items. We're down to natural stuff only. On the other map, we brought down wolf after wolf after wolf after wolf and a couple of deer. And they kept us going, but on this map, there isn't so much about... I guess I've ended up venturing a little bit further than I'd intended. We're heading across towards Unnamed Pond now. There's a deer. I haven't brought my rifle with me, so... A hunting is going to have to wait. I'm kind of going to hug this side. See if there's any reishi mushrooms or anything about them. I haven't seen any. There's plenty of fallen limbs and things for firewood. Part of me is kind of thinking, shall we go back to the cabin? Because if we go back to the cabin, I think we may have left some hides there. Which we can bring back to Trapper's cabin. This will help us with our cabin fever affliction, which has gone to 34%, even though we're outside. As we make our way. Right, I can't feel my feet. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't got the best in the in footwear at the moment. Need a little bunny. I'm also hoping I can get some reclaimed wood if we head to the cabin because I think I've pretty much used all the stocks that we have available to us in um, Trapper's Cabin itself, so... Ooh, massive, massive herd of deer here. That's good. It's probably because we were the wolf killer of Unnamed Pond at one point as well. Okay, what is the temperature? Minus 16, so it is actually quite cold. Okay, I'm going to make my way up the bank.
and you may have to forgive me, this video may end up being a little bit shorter than intended because I didn't look properly at the time when I started to record it, so I'm only kind of... Oops, I do apologise, I just crashed into my microphone. Uh, I'm uh, not really uh, sure how long this is going to be. It's going to be pure guesswork, this one. Okay, so cabin is over here behind these trees. There it is. Cries open for wolves, because they do lurk around here. We've taken a fair few of them out, but uh, they're still around. We've got lots of uh, limbs over here. I haven't got a hatchet, though. I did forget to pick up my spare hatchet before I uh, left Trapper's Cabin, which is a bit of a silly thing to do. But I do know over here there are racial mushrooms and things, potentially, so... We shall have a look and see if we can find any. How's our cabin of fleave, a fleave affliction doing? See, it's only come down to 33%. I'm slightly concerned by how much effort it's taking to get rid of that cabin fever affliction. Because this is uh, the most time I ever usually spend outside, is moving between buildings. I've never had that problem before. Oh yeah, lots of good stuffs. I'd forgotten half of this was here, if I'm completely honest with you. I hid many, many things in here. Although apparently, that's all that was left. I could have sworn I left a little bit more behind than that. I could have sworn I left some... I left a deer hide. Oh, it's all here. It's all hidden. It's hiding from us. Well, we've got some gut. We've got a deer hide and we have got some firewood. So we shall have all of that. Uh, stuff some things that we've got lurking around here. Uh, fishing tackle, I'm going to take back with me because I think that's going to start coming in very handy. Um, I've got a bow that I'm, uh, I've am i got hiding here as well. We'll take that back if we've got carry weight, which we have. Have we got enough weight to take one of these pry bars back with us? I think we do. I'm inclined to leave the rest behind. And I'm also actually inclined to leave some of that firewood. Unless there's things in here that we can break down. We need a hatchet. I'm just kind of thinking, because I left that behind on purpose. So let's drop a couple of pieces of wood. So at least we have enough to make a fire. Okay, hypothermia risk is healed, so that's good. We're quite tired. We're a bit thirsty. I'm going to drink. Part of me is thinking, let's try and get back. So we've now got reclaimed wood, we've got some stuff, at least then we can, if we head back, we're back outdoors again for a little period of time. I assume this counts as being outdoors as well, and of course we could put a fire there, so that might be a way, uh, a way of getting round it, is to camp outside the door with a fire, keep ourselves out of harm's way, but still our affliction. Blimey! That kicked in quickly. What's the temperature out here? Minus 14. Okay, I'm a little bit disinclined to go uh, venturing all the way back. So what I might do is what we just suggested. Light a fire here. Take the charcoal, of course. We'll light a fire here. A little bit of lamp oil, but we'll just try it without. We'll light a fire here, we'll camp here for a little bit. We'll make ourselves a bit of water, we'll just sit here. Hopefully being outside will help to sort out our cabin fever affliction. On, little fire. Being by the fire will sort out our hypothermia. And then we can think about what our next move is going to be. Damn it! What? Try that again. If it fails once more, I am going to be lighting with Long accelerant. We just want the thing to work. Day. 
Awesome. We got one going. Okay, I'm going to use the cedar. Uh, we might as well use it all. There's plenty of cedar knocking about. We just need to go and get ourselves our hatchet so that we can grab some. Uh, I'm going to do uh, just a litre of water. I'm more focused on the heat and staying outdoors and all that kind of good stuff than uh, getting water out of this particular fire. I know I'm perhaps not as uh, regimented and not as deeply efficient as a lot of players of the Long Dark are. You will really 100% maximise every opportunity. I've seen people who've kept fires going continuously. They've lit one fire and just kept it burning, but never ventured more than more than a certain distance from their uh, from their fire. I don't really want to chuck. Let's just we'll chuck a few sticks on there and just see if we can. I don't think I'm going to have enough to boil all of the non-possible water. It's, it's a liter. It's fine, we'll just stay here. Think about his food. Okay, well, we've been outdoors a little bit. Cabin fever's down to 30%. I mean, I've been outdoors for quite a bit now, to be fair. Standing next to the fire is helping our hypothermia. Okay, I'm now going to make that trek. Let's make our way back. Should we just do some cartography? To be fair, I think I've already surveyed this. Okay, let's get ourselves moving then. I think what we're going to do in the next video, we'll get ourselves back. What we're going to do in the next video, I think, is really properly organise ourselves, go and do some hunting and gathering. Um, and properly resupply. So I'll, I'll bring my hatchet. Probably get rid of pretty much... God, we went really cold really quickly. Uh, probably get rid of pretty much everything we're carrying that we don't need for that trip. We'll come and gather ourselves some firewood. So we'll come, we'll bring the hatchet. Possibly come back over here or go wherever we've seen lots of limbs and whatever. We'll get lots and lots of firewood, get that back to the, uh, to the main camp. And then at least we've got ourselves a good stock. Um, then we'll... Uh, do a massive cook off, massive, massive cook off, and get ourselves loads and loads of water. So that's two of our basics sorted out. Um, and then food. Food's going to be the tricky one. Um, we're going to have to come and do some hunting. There's plenty of deer around here, so that's probably a, a good move for us. So I think that's our key priorities for the next probably couple of videos. It's restocking, resupplying. I mean, this one, I, I kind of just wanted to come and try and sort out this affliction that we've managed to develop, cabin fever, by getting outside. Just doing a bit of a trek over to the cabin by unnamed pond, just so we've got some time outdoors trying to limit the damage of that affliction. But I think we're going to have to spend a lot more time outdoors to properly deal with it by the looks of things. Which is a little bit annoying. But hopefully we can uh, sort that out. So yeah, I think we've got our priorities sorted for the next few videos. As I was saying before, I'm maybe not as efficient and not as fantastically well organised as some players. But then some players will, will camp out in relatively small areas and not really explore. And others are, are really nomadic and, and really very efficient when they, they move around and and what have you, and I'm kind of in between. I'll uh, build up big stockpiles in bases and have a really good supply store, but maybe I don't make the best use of the resources that I've got, and I don't always plan ahead and take things that I'm, that I'm going to need with me whenever I do things, but uh, we get there. It always works out one way or another. I'm going to try and be a little bit more efficient, be a little bit more organized make sure I've got things that I need make sure I, I work out my basic supplies of things that I need and try and put together a little supply kit that I can leave behind each of the other buildings like um, when we learned from camp office last time there was nothing in there 
but it was uh, a desperately needed bolt hole but when we got in there we didn't, we didn't actually have any supplies so hopefully I can make myself a little bit more efficient and we're going to start by gathering lots of firewood that I think is going to be our trick firewood and any reishi mushrooms or other natural food sources that we see we'll gather all of those up we're going to so make some hungry. snares as well. We've got the parts to do that now. We'll make some snares. And we'll pop these up. And we might even go and do some fishing because I've now got fishing tackle. We can head over to the lake itself, which we've not actually been to for a while. And we'll go and do some fishing. Catch ourselves some food that way and then stockpile it. But we are now back. Back in Trapper's Cabin. Warming up. Obviously, cabin fever. That's hypothermia. Although it has dropped fairly, fairly uh, decently, to be fair. So we're kind of balancing cabin fever at the moment. So it's not getting any worse, but it's not getting any better. But I think with the plan that we have for the next couple of videos, what we're going to do, we're going to head out. We're going to take our hatchet, which I forgot to take with me. We're going to take our hatchet. We're going to really go and gather um, as much firewood. Um, as we possibly can bring it all back here so we've got a really good stockpile because basically I haven't got any left apart from the, the bit that I'm carrying um, so I'm going to go and get a, a whole load of firewood give us a really good stockpile then we'll make a certain load of water absolutely fill that safe with water so we've got lots and lots of that and then we need to find some food and that's going to be the really tricky bit uh, so we're probably going to have to go hunting bring ourselves down a deer and again though we only want to bring one deer down at a time we do not need to go hunting deer for, for pelts um, or anything like that. We've got plenty of deer hides. We don't need to go hunting them for those. So we're only going to be hunting them for food. So we will only hunt them when we actually need them. We'll just try and bring one down at a time. But right now, I am going to say thank you so much for joining me again for the Long Dark. I know the last couple of videos have been a little bit quiet compared to what we did before, but we are surviving. We are moving forward. We're doing really well. We're, we've still got a massive supply of cash here. We're part way through crafting a wolf skin coat. Hopefully once we've got all that sorted we can explore a little bit wider and do another supply run back to the Grey Mother's house which is still the ultimate goal is get everything we can back there and stash it all there um, shuttle it all over there and um, explore the world but right now thank you so much for watching hit the like subscribe buttons and I shall as always see you again for some more Long Dark very very soon